Today we're going to be talking about the earliest signs of pregnancy that you may even get before your missed period. One of the earliest pregnancy symptoms is changes in your cervix. Throughout your cycle, the position of your cervix changes. When you're ovulating, your cervix is going to be higher up in your vagina, and then as you get closer to menstruation, it will lower down again. So if you know where your position of your cervix is, it's going to be high, and if you are pregnant, it is not going to lower down before your period. The texture of your cervix can also change. If you're not pregnant, it's going to feel hard like the end of your nose. If you are pregnant, it's going to become softer. This is helpful if you've been monitoring it for a few months before so that you know what your own cervix feels like. Your cervical mucus or discharge can also give you an early clue. A couple of days before you ovulate, your mucus will be creamy and opaque. On the day you ovulate, it becomes stretchy and like egg whites. After you ovulate, your mucus will dry up if you're not pregnant. However, if you are pregnant, it's likely that your cervical mucus or discharge will continue to be creamy and increase throughout the rest of your pregnancy. You can also track your body temperature with a basal body thermometer. If you notice that your temperature goes up by one degree first thing in the morning, this could be a sign that you're pregnant. Six to 12 days after implantation, you may get some spotting or implantation bleeding. This is usually much lighter than a regular period. It may be pink or brownish in color. Another early symptom is an increase in urination frequency, and this is from the increase in progesterone as well as human chorionogonadotropin, as well as your kidneys are working harder to try and process the extra blood volume. A symptom that I felt very early on was lightheadedness or even dizziness. So because of the hormones and your change in blood volume, your blood vessels start to dilate and this can lower your blood pressure and it causes some lightheadedness or dizziness. Other changes that you might feel are headaches. You may also feel exhausted or extra tired, sort of a body fatigue that's different from um, just staying awake too many hours. You may notice changes in your breasts fairly early on. They may be tender or swollen or have a heavy feeling. Cramping, bloating, along with constipation has also been reported. Other women report feeling nausea or having morning sickness or just an increase in saliva very early on. While others say that their first sign was having craving or food aversions to foods that they normally love or just a change in their taste and smell. So often one of these symptoms isn't really enough to let you know, but if you put a few of them together, and especially if you're familiar with your cervix and the cervical changes, you can figure out very early on whether you're pregnant or not. Of course, these signs and symptoms are not enough to verify your pregnancy. You're going to want to follow up with a home pregnancy test and or your doctor. Some of the home pregnancy tests provide an accuracy of 60 to 75% five days before your missed period, 90% on your missed period, and then if you wait another week, 99% accuracy. I hope you get the result that you're looking for, and if you are pregnant, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Here on the channel, I will keep creating pregnancy workouts, yoga, and Pilates, and birth preparation every week. In my current pregnancy playlist, I have over 150 different pregnancy workouts, so I will link to that in the description box below. And if you are pregnant, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss when any of the new videos come out.